spring butterfly exhibit at the Desert I Botanical love Garden. I we make you uncomfortable. <laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> All right. Is that uh, what Corey is? I believe so. Yeah, butterflies. Let's see. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Well, this is a this is a butterfly in oh. training, <coughs> so oh, to speak. Yes. It's gonna get there. This little caterpillar that could. And oh yeah, look at that. He's thinking, boy, some sweet day. I'm going to launch myself off this guy's hand and be a dang hero. Uh, you're right. We are here. And you can see it right up here at the uh, Diana and Paul B. Smith uh, Butterfly Nursery. And this is where we get these butterflies ready to go uh, and ready to become superstars here at the Butterfly uh, Pavilion at the uh, Phoenix Zoo and it is one of the most beautiful spots in the valley. Now it's a little bit early so everything's kind of cool. You know how cool our mornings have been. Uh, good news for us, we've got Dana with us and Miss Pegram, come on over here as well. Your first name again? Kim. Kim, gotcha. And uh, well let me ask you first Kim, what, what am I looking at? Who is this uh, <laughs> fellow? What will he become someday? This will become a monarch butterfly. Yep, in about two, uh, four, four, about four weeks, the yeah, butterfly. Yeah. And uh, are these just crawling around on the plants now? You've got them outside the nursery. They uh, they do what they wish. Yeah, so this is our host plant area. This is where some of the butterflies that are flying around in the exhibit get to lay eggs. Mm -hmm. uh, and then their caterpillars start to grow on their host plants. These are the only plants they can eat. Oh, I see. Now, as I said, it's a little bit cool this morning. We've had a lot of cool mornings. So if you're coming out to the exhibit, about what time of day does everything get active? When do these beauties start to fly? They like it to be more than about 70 degrees. So if you can come uh, later in the, the afternoon these days uh, while it's cool, that'd be great. Yeah. Well, Dana McGinnis is with us as well. And I love coming here, of course. Who doesn't? You're really crowded even for early in the morning uh, today. Um, Anything special going on in the next couple of weeks? What's the latest? Yeah, so our butterfly exhibit will run through Mother's Day weekend. We have 1,200 southwestern butterflies here on display. It's included in your garden admission. And then on the weekend of the 10th and 11th, we have Flutterfest. It's a new family fun festival um, focused around the butterflies, but we'll have entertainers and storytelling, hands-on activities, and that as well is included in general admission. So come out, check out the butterflies, the trails, and Flutterfest. Always so fun. And uh, about how many butterflies would we expect to see fluttering around when we're in full bloom, so to speak? 1,200 in here right now. They're a little cold and sleepy, but they will be in full force as soon as the day warms up. And you can see those every day through Mother's Day weekend. I love that. Well, I like how they sort of give us that sort of a standoffish attitude right now. Is that, hey, man, I just woke up. It's freezing in here. <laughs> Monday morning. <laughs> now, uh, these are edible, right? I no. wouldn't. Sorry, no, no, don't, no. don't do it. Don't. No, no. Okay. I'm acting I, like I grew I'm up in here. town. I don't know. I'm not a. Yeah. I'm not a zoologist. <laughs> don't eat I was just it. Just asking. So don't eat them. No. Okay. No. Do it. Eat it. No. I eat it. No. It's gonna turn into a beautiful butterfly. No. I dare you. No. Don't. We're not daring. Troy, on this what's show. in it? For no, me. we're not daring. I'm we're a little light this month. What do you need? No. You two, stop it right now. You know, Franklin would probably set me up pretty nicely. Old oh. Ben? Oh. Benjamin? <laughs> You're not betting that. Yeah? No. He's not eating that either. No, stop! Go. Do it. No. <laughs> they cut him off. Stop it now. Celeste introduces us to an award-winning auctioneer. Maybe we should have had him. Will you give Corey $50? Will you give him $25? Will you give him $50? Give him $100. Welcome back to AZAM. Corey's with the Spring Butterfly Exhibit at the Desert Botanical Garden. Good day to be out there. Mm -hmm. It's going to be perfect once uh, things warm up a little bit. But, you know, we've had some cool starts. These mornings are, uh, well, who, who like, butterflies are like all the rest of us. Who wants to roll out of bed when it's freezing cold? Uh, although this is uh, breakfast. How about this? Orange slices, fake blueberries. No, I think that's just some kind of a fruit water we got going on. But here are some of your 1,200 friends that you'll meet here. And boy, once you get into the afternoon hours and uh, things have warmed up, it, it's just a cloud of beautiful butterflies. And uh, Dana, uh, when what time do you open up in the morning, um, by the way? The garden opens up at 8 a.m. Butterflies start um, opening at 9.30. Mm -hmm. And we've got 1,200 of them here right now for our spring butterfly exhibit open through Mother's Day weekend. So great. So Kim, uh, 
Let me meet your friend. Boy, that is a beautiful <laughs> monarch. Now, I was holding uh, a caterpillar earlier. Yeah. How long does it take to go from the uh, caterpillar to this beauty? Uh, about four weeks from the start of the caterpillar stage. Wow. This one just emerged this morning, uh, just to close in our pupa cabinet over here. Wow, it's a newborn, Andrea. Yeah. Troy. <laughs> That is a beautiful thing. Well, come see us. Uh, oh, boy. I could just watch this oh, all day long. Well, yeah, um, that is so pink. nice. I love those monarchs. Isn't it the milkweed okay. they eat, Corey? Is it milkweed? Uh, do they, Troy's a... Do they eat milkweed? Troy must know. They do. Troy, you're a dang expert. Come yes. see us. Yeah.